What is up, everyone? This is Absolute Zero here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. We just got onto the train, met up with the group, talked about invisible shit, and now the team thinks we're crazy. But that's okay. Uh, mainly because it's a little true. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hmm. I guess some people are actually smart enough to realize that it's, uh, not an attack. Well, I mean, there was an attack. I think that's the unfortunate thing. There was an attack, but, uh, it's just not as big as it was supposed to. It's, it was much bigger than it was supposed to be. We don't need no reactors. We sure don't. I'm sure that was a scary thought. Yeah, okay, rich per rich person mentality. Holy crap. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, just, I, I'm sorry for you, man. I just want to get through. This is exactly like Metro. Actually, Metro in Montreal is worse. What, what is it? I, I, maybe? You're getting really close to me, Biggs. What, what do you want? Can I not talk with you? I, I'm trying to leave you alone, miss. I'm trying to talk to Biggs, which for some reason I can't do. Holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. Yeah, say that out loud, will you? You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? You learn to take a hint, lady. I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. Little health cloud? Again. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. Say that a little louder, would you? The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? I'm sure Sector 7's affected too. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. No. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. I know that feeling. I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. <laughs> Cloud's like, whatever. I just. Well, that's a good guess, I would say. Barrett, come on, buddy. Let's talk. Go so far as to bomb a reactor. They've yet to announce it. Oh, the song. I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. With a big gun on your arm like that? I'm not so sure you should be talking like that. J just who do you think you are? How do we know he's a Shinra middle manager? Law abiding? Really? <laughs> In my humble opinion, humble, huh? that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <sighs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> So, in the original, this scene took, like, two seconds. And now it's, like, a drawn-out scene, which is cool. I like that. I can see now. I can see now why this game is, like, much longer than the original game. Because Final Fantasy Remake 7, so far, this part, this Shinra, Shinra part, this Midgar section apparently is, like, dozens of hours. It took... I don't remember four to six hours to do on the original game, maybe? It's much longer in this game, you but I see why now. Shinra Creed my ass. Shinra Creed made Creed sound like a verb. It's 
funny that I can still access my menu here. Let's get this out of the way. What are we getting out of the way? Visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. What are we talking about? I have to tell you people. I'm not. There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. Jesus, Jesse, you're such a tease. Wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. Oh yeah, this. Massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an IV checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. That's some advanced technology. All more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Just like that. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. <laughs> it's a little too real, is especially for 2020, isn't it? It's almost as if this game uh kinda saw the future. Train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. How poetic, Cloud. Escape artist, a bar located in the Sector 7 slums. Oh, 7th Heaven. Oh, did I really just realize it's called 7th Heaven because of the sector it's in? Although it's a pun on many degrees. But anyway, Tifa's cocktails and cooking are big hits among the locals. They could not read the rest. Home Sweet Slum, Chapter 3. Well, can't deny that, even if they're Shinra uh, followers, sheep, Shinra sheep, uh, they have families. You can't deny the happiness that brings. Yeah, yell that a little louder, would you? I refuse to believe that we can yell it this loud. You're the one that started! You're literally the one that started. You've earned it. Just be R and R. Next mission, all right. I keep forgetting what R and R stands for. Where's my money? <laughs> Basically. At Seventh Heaven, you know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Okay. Oh, this song, how nostalgic. It's kind of crazy. I think he's drunk. Alright, let's leave him be. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's treasure around here. It's like literally the first thing I look at with everything. With all the new areas that I have to explore. This game is beautiful, by the way. Holy shit, look at that! Ho ho ho! Oh, that's a pre-rendered background, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it really is. That isn't, though. Or it half is, actually. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, the game is still beautiful. I love it so far. I'm not seeing anything. Watching the news? Yeah, I guess it's not a bad idea. Slum slider with extra black milli. Okay. That's kind of cool. They put a lot of effort into the environment. 
Okay, you said that already, kid. Are you stuck on loop? Uh, don't mind the guy with the giant sword, then. <laughs> Honestly, how do you get away not being noticed when you have a fucking giant sword on your back? It's like, it, it made more sense in back on the first one. Because you don't see a giant sword on your back, but now it's like, it's Mako right in your face. Blood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? Jesus, Cloud, you have way too many of those visions. Mako Junkie, huh? <gasps> Mako Junkies. Oh, right. That's a thing. Wait, this didn't happen in the first one? Am I really supposed to follow them? Hey, look, it's the gang. I actually... That's kind of disgusting if that's the case. I can't actually remember. I literally don't remember what all that was about. Excuse me. Due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, damn, they really nailed that voice for a new recruit. God, I love the voice acting in this game so far. It's really awesome. But yeah, like, they're showing a lot more of stuff that usually comes a lot later in the game. Sector 7 slums. Sector 7. And I'm guessing one of those is 7th Heaven. There it is. Have a great day. There's definitely a lot more to look at now that it's a remake of the original. Uh, what's in here? You got something to say, buddy? Nothing? That's unfortunate. What are you selling? What are you selling? Uh... It looks like parts. It just looks like a lot of parts. And a lot of... Are those tires? No, those are gears. Okay. It's actually kind of cool that you get to listen to so many conversations. It really adds to the uh, ambiance. Is that the word I'm looking for? Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop, so I can look after my parents. You know. Well, a man can always dream, can he? It's actually really cool because you really get a feel for what people are going through. Um, they, I have to say, I haven't played very much of it so far, but this is a very new, different... Ugh, get in line. There's like thousands of gamers ahead of you already. Thousands? Probably millions. There she is. Aw, oh, look at her! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh you did, did you? Well well. Somehow with all the voice acting and everything, that made the interac interaction even cuter. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. From this random flower girl. For a second I really thought he was gonna shove it down her top, but uh when did you get so <laughs> guy can change it has been five years oh come on cloud you didn't intend to take that flower although I did ask how much right come on in I just love the prompt oh thank you flower lost <laughs> it's God yeah weird huh eggs and chips okay I guess I'm supposed to come here then I, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to the little girl, Marlene. She's adorable. Aw, oh, she's scared of me. Whoa! 
Daddy says never talk to strangers. So this is your fault, Barrett. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Aww. All right. But We've all been through that. Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. Uh... I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> My money! Smooth uh, cloud. Right. About that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What's happening? Got no money for me. Um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Whoa. That is some advanced stuff for a young child to learn. But... Can't hide the truth from the youngins. Before we get that just makes money, it worse. There's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I don't I expect anything fancy here. For now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Who voice acted Cloud? Why does he sound so familiar? Was chaotic. Needless to say. It was wrong of it was me to put you in danger like that. I, heard about I that promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Mm. I'll try Walmart. not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Walmart. Not good at all. It's crazy how many conversations so, you can hear at you the same time. Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. <laughs> You're not exactly a people person. Thanks, I'll Tifa. Yeah, it makes me afraid to talk just because I don't want to like talk over the other conversations. There are I so many of them. Eight on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. What's going so to happen to us? It wasn't How that bad. It, us? it was. Oh. It was bad. It was bad. Much worse than we wanted it to be. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. You know, having this model of her like that really Room takes it, brings it home how short that Don't skirt is. Much else, what with seventh heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. I'm sure. So what, I'm supposed to just go inside or am I supposed to follow you? Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Is that bad? Oh. I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Without my money. Alright. Well, not getting my money, guys. Oh, she's coming in too. Okay. But should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? 2000 I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us. But... That's it? Sorry. 500 spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, at least fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Stingy, are we? Understandable, though. Why are there so many doors here? There were so many doors there. They look like a bathroom stall. Maybe it is a bathroom stall. I mean, if you're good. Guess it's time for introductions. I'm sorry, am I hearing 
Am I hearing hunger through the wall? Or is that talking noise? It actually sounds like a stomach that is yearning for food, like it hasn't eaten in years. Okay. All right. Well, hi, neighbor. You okay in there? Oh, that's not a stomach. That is crying. That's crying of something. Not necessarily crying sad, but crying dying. Hi, Sephiroth. My god, they are doing this a lot. You really hit the door, Cloud? You really hit the door? Is that the neighbor? Are we hallucinating right now? What the... Yep, hallucination. What is this? What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. I mean, yeah, as long as he doesn't look like Sephiroth, I guess. Man, they are really driving that home. He's appearing way too often. How do you sleep with armor like that? That can't be possible, right? I'm pretty sure that sword would have hit the roof doing that, but okay. I guess sleep time is over. Okay, moving on. Well, ooh, sunshine. That's a first. So far, I mean, can I actually go in here? <laughs> he actually just does the whole motion of the, oh, that's funny. It's almost like it, even that is a callback to the original. You've got crazy hair, lady. I certainly am. Are you wearing I'm makeup? Paul, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. It can be about anything. Even Tifa. What, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. That is fair. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Fair enough. Okay. Um what should I do? I guess go back to the bar. I I think the game literally just told me what to do. Life in Islam, show relative to Yeah, that's the bar. Okay. It was just one reactor, dear. Everything's gonna be fine. One out of eight. So I guess, yeah, most people here don't... Yeah, it, only Avalanche knows about Avalanche. Is that a gun? That is a gun. What? Searching for candidates? Who's searching for candidates? That's a lot of guns down that road. Okay. What are you doing? Are you searching for candidates? What are you? What is that thing on your... What is that thing on your shoulder? It looks like a bird. Huh. Fiend slain this month zero? Whoa. Hey, look, it's the squats! Uh, weapons. Can I interact with you? No? Okay. We've got a lot of different things going around here. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I went a different direction. Okay. I don't think there's much to see. No treasures? That's a question I will not answer right now. Well, glad that the game isn't ignoring that. Some people are definitely noticing I have a giant ass sword on my back, seemingly for no reason. It's almost as if it's looking for a reason to be used. Just by being big. Uh, what's happening here? 
Oh, whatever. I guess I'll just... Hey, little kitty! I'm trying to see what I can interact with, but it doesn't seem like much. It's really just like running around, hearing conversations. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. Hmm. Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? Uh, give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please? <laughs> Tifa's really good at pressuring. Uh, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Jeez. Tifa is an extortionist. Is that the word for it? How does she teleport just now? Pretty sure she just teleported. Why is that a question mark on the music? Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't yep. worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. All right. Well, guess it's time to go shopping. You hear, you may hear music near shops and certain characters as you approach the source of the music. And a music icon will appear. The icon means that the music disc is available at a nearby shop or vending machine. Oh, really? Okay. It's the prelude. Of course. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Ha! Cloud? Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a thing. Suppose I could take a look. It's the Chris, the freaking Fall Fancy Prelude. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and there it is. I can just buy it. Fifty gil? Why not? Uh, potions would be a good idea, honestly. Uh, well, I already have 20, but I'm actually gonna buy a few Phoenix Downs because clearly I suck at this game. Gonna do the usual of buying some antidotes because I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point, and it's probably gonna hurt more in this game. Oh, look at all this. I already have that. I have that. And I have that. The thing I don't have is ice and lightning for myself. Um, which kind of makes me want to buy both, but I can't because I only have 600. So, I'm actually going to, since Barrett might join us again later, probably, he probably will. I'm going to get the other one that we just don't have. So now I'm wondering, what can I sell? I can sell grenades. 200 physical damage to enemies within range. Rouses one from a stupor? What? I actually do not understand what that means. What? Okay. I don't I actually have no idea what that means. Thanks. You know what? I'll leave it at that. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. Jeez, we'll not around, Okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Jesus Christ, you are one thirsty boy. Uh where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay. He's a regular. Stock up here, and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe, maybe for you. <laughs> Read my mind. Being a little nicer. Not my style. Clearly not. Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just okay. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Okay. So she knows about Avalanche. Yeah, we're definitely changing. Sorry, my bad. My god, they really made me bump into people in this game. Where the hell? Hey, kid. You uh, doing alright in there? Okay. Have fun being a spy, I guess. 
Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Damn, she doesn't Are like you? me. Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. She definitely is. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. Ow, so quick skills. to judge. <laughs> nice. Like a kid. I've it's got skills. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? No, I got woken up. Anything, I, tell you. I, I guess. Life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> you take care of yourself. 200 Don't gil? Do okay. I wouldn't do. Which is probably a lot. Taking a break at a rest spot recovers all your HP and MP. Rest spots include your own bed, blue benches next to... Blue benches next to vending machines? Really? Okay. So what is my HP and MP like right now? Perfect. Okay. Blue benches next to... Did she just bump into her? Me set up back in the day. Huh. Been Not here a while now? Five years, give or take. Was a of years back. Uh, but never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Okay. Alright. Oh, I have no money for the weapon store anymore. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. Of course. Yes. Oh my god, NPCs really are bumping into each other. Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! Alright. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate Harsh. payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> well, he said pretty please. Thank you very much. Well, that so went better than I expected. Got a small fortune now. Why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barry be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so what do you want to do? Don't really know. It's almost like she keeps In trying case, to delay it. I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Do I? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. She's not wrong. Start. Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak do you... our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Sir, do you literally not see this giant ass sword I have on my back? Yeah, I see you looking at it. Look at it. Look at it, sir. You no see it. Way to keep you and your family safe. All right, I'm out. You're obviously blind. All right. Where's Tifa? Speak with our... Nope, that is not a hint. That is him speaking. Is it over here that I need to go? There she is. Um, are you telling me to go in here? Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Well, hello. Oh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. Okay. For example, aha. What about your sword? I can No. Oh. Thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come he on. is right. At least let me show you how it's done. So is this how the game's gonna work with weapons now? 
That's a lot of scratches on it. Can now enhance your weapons. Well, that's new. Okay, spend SP skill points to unlock special skills infused in weapons? What is this, like the job system but for weapons? Okay. You can enhance weapons and unlock weapon skills through upgrades. Weapon, upgrade weapons. First, select a character whose weapons you'd like to upgrade and press X to select Cloud. The number to the right of each weapon is the max SP value. Uh, a value which increases as the character levels up. Next, select the weapon you'd like to upgrade. Press X to select the Buster Sword. The number next to... Okay, so there are different weapons then, I, I'm assuming. Number next to is the amount of SP you can spend on that weapon. Okay, whoa. Oh, wow. Increase max... Okay. Unlock weapon skills and enhance your weapons. Weapon skills can be unlocked using SP. Every weapon has its own SP pool. Use the left analog stick or D-pad to select weapon skills to unlock. This is interesting. Okay. Um, Punisher mode, strong attacks, damage, 5% boost. Increased damage dealt, uh, dealt by strong attacks and Punisher mode. I have 10 SP to spend. Each cost 4. Well, I'm like an offensive type of uh, player. Which obviously gets me killed a lot, but that is the type of style I like to learn. So I'm going to lock that one. Uh, this is still tricky, so like as much as I'd like to get it, I feel like I might do better with some max HP right now. And I'll come back to get the others. So my question is whether I can still equip these skills... Uh, when I change gear. You can automate SP allocation... Oh, do you just choose to? You can automate SP allocations by selecting a weapon and pressing triangle to change your weapon upgrade settings. Select a setting that best accommodates your battle strategy. Okay, unlocking skills has all kinds of beneficial effects such as boosting weapon stats and increased material slots. When a character levels up and the max SP of their weapon, equipped weapon increases, that weapon also levels up. The higher the weapon level, the more available... The more types of weapon skills become available. This ends this tutorial. Okay, I have a feeling this is a whole new system that I need to learn. To next level, 10. I don't know what that means. Only weapon level 1. Should I look at the max is 5? Hey, look at that! What happens if I prioritize attack? Uh, what does get set? I'm curious. Do they really have to do that animation every time? What do I have equipped right now? Gee, what, can we... Can we... Okay. So right now it's attack power and max HP. But I thought I just did something different. Unless that's what attack is. I would have imagined something slightly different actually. Oh well. We'll just do it that way. Uh, I guess we'll leave it at that. Okay, well cool. Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. For sure. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Mercantown. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll huh. march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, well, damn. Where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. Tifa is very good at convincing us. Tifa Lockhart. Okay. I imagine I can equip skills for her too. I'm willing but to bet that I can. So, let's see. Tifa has 10 on her leather gloves. She only has one materia equipped right now. So, yeah, I can immediately equip something on her. Speed. Increases speed attribute. Interesting. So, I'll do that. And you know what? I'll give her speed, because I want to see what that looks like. If I can feel the effects of that, then that's just one more good thing I'll have learned. Leap into the air and unleash a powerful attack. That's an ability that she has. Okay. I'll learn her stuff in battle, I think. Okay. So where am I going, then? You gonna lead, uh, Tifa? Where am I going? Where? Oh my god, it doesn't act- Oh my god, here? 
So, I gotta get down from this building first. Whoops! I, I was trying to see if there's a button for me to open up a mini-map, because I do not see a mini-map. I kind of wish there was. Bottle of ether. Okay. So if I go down here... Because I don't know my way around. We definitely should. I just have no idea where I'm going right now. Here? Okay, so in back here. It sure is. What the- what do I sell? Service. I sell a service, sir. This. Oh, right there. Is this the goal? Oh, it sure is. Damn, it's dark in here. What is that? Is that materia? An orb of ice materia. Great! The one I literally just bought! I wasted my money! Cool! I should probably equip uh, Tifa with something here. I already have a that. Uh, materia. What does she have here? Chalk Chakra? Allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with chakra. The amount restored is relative to the damage received, and more is restored to lower your HP. That's interesting. That is new. That is very new. Okay. I've got two ice materia. Whatever. We'll just equip one at least. That is very, very different. And there's our first challenge. Show me what you got, Whew! Okay. That's it. They can only do physical stuff, from what I can tell. That's a lot of experience. It's like they give even more than the soldiers somehow. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just really. That's like nothing. Uh, where am I going? That's the goal, but I want to see what's here. Am I allowed to go here? Whoa! That's crazy. To start off like that. Oh, look at her go! Oh, shit! She's awesome. Okay. I mean, I already knew that. But she looks even more awesome here. Uh, treasure? Treasure? Is there treasure? Is there treasure? There's treasure. Okay. Alright. Anyway, I think this is a good point for me to stop. I will continue on the next episode and reach the goal here. I'm not really sure what we're doing here. But uh, this is a thing that we'll have to do. So, anyway... I will fight whatever that thing is on the next episode. So if you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell if you want to, if you want to get a notification for when the next video comes out. But until that next video, my name is Absolute Zero. And always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone.